With the antenna I glued back in place, I need to earth the circuit by inserting a wire into his thorax. And you know what? Congratulations. You have just made your first cyborg. I made a cyborg! Now, we just have to wait for him to warm up and wake up. All right, so now I've got him plugged in right, with so his little listen. roachy backpack. All right. And he's mine. Mine! Hit pair. <laughs> and now it's connecting. I control your little roach. What? Swipe left, he goes left. That is neato. Swipe right, he goes right. How am I doing it? When I signal the electrode inside the antennae, his little roachy brain believes he's touched something and turns away. Okay, this is awesome, but I want to figure out how I can apply this to humans so I can control the brain. You want to control humans now. I want to control okay. humans. What we're going to do, I'm just going to hook you up to another one of our inventions. This is called the muscle spiker box. The spiker box hones in on neuron activity in the motor cortex, the bit of the brain that controls movement. So go ahead and squeeze your hand. Ooh. Whoa! Okay. This is your brain being amplified through your muscles. So now the next question is, what can we do with that signal? We can stick it into a little computer here. So this is a way to make a brain-machine interface. So now you're controlling Ooh, this. That is cool. I'm controlling a machine with my mind. Now, can we take that one step further and control 